Hello everyone, this is the Daily Joker 77. I've got another part of the series, my life so far, I'm going to share my paranormal experiences. Probably part one, because I don't know how much I'm going to get through today, so I don't know how many parts it's going to take, and I only have like about a half hour of recording time on my phone. So when I get a laptop soon, I'll be able to record longer. So, just a minute. That's a reply to this. Okay, I'm back. I decided to reply to a message real quick. Oh yeah, I was probably thrashing in my sleep last night because I got this little bruise. I could have hit myself in my sleep. I don't know what the fuck happened. I just woke up and a little bruise. Mm, happened before. I got scratches before too, so <laughs> that's part of uh, it's part of you know, you know, experiencing the paranormal. You get scratches sometimes when you wake up and everything, and that happens. It just depends on. Um, what kind of entity is around, but let's start back far as I can remember when I was five years old. Um, pretty much I was, obviously I was sleeping and I didn't have a night light at this time. I wasn't afraid of the dark at this point. And I just randomly saw this black shape and then it just made itself look like a witch and it was literally like... Like it was laying, it was like coming out like this. It was crawling. Its arms were moving like this. It was fuck. It was crawling and it was creeping me out. I screamed enough that my mom had to literally rush in to turn on the lights, and then I saw it literally skulk back. Like that was the creepiest fucking shit I've ever fucking seen. That was the first demon I've seen and encountered. That shit was creepy. That wasn't a shadow person. That's a fucking big difference. Demons can look like anything. This is a fucking demon because it was a solid shape and. It was, in, it was just all black. It was creepy as fuck. And, um... Oh man. That's really fucking creepy, you know, I think about it. Uh, how far... How much can I remember beyond that? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you once I reply to this other message, I'm talking to someone at the same time, so hold on a second. Okay, so this is another time I was five. I think I was probably six at this time. I remember... This was a lot when I was a kid. So, I came upstairs, and I was in the basement, I was watching something in the basement, or playing a video game, I can't remember which, and, um, uh, I'm trying to remember, sorry, this is a lot to remember, so if it takes me a minute to try to, um, inform my thoughts, then just bear with me here. So, I come upstairs, and we had a dining room table where... Like, let's, okay, let's say this this is the basement door right here, and then pretty much going this way to the kitchen, then that way to the dining room, and I look, and a chair moves back on its own. So that was the first time I ever saw something move on its own. I wasn't dreaming, I was wide awake, that shit freaked me out. <laughs> like, damn. Um, what else? This is when I was in the condo. I was growing up, so I'm trying to remember what else that's to my memory. Um, if I pause the video, I might take a second to think back and just try to remember so I don't sap up all the time I have to record, you know? Um, so I'm trying to think back. Let's see how much more can I remember here. What age was I? I think. Hmm. <sighs> okay, let's start where I was at my dad's and my stepmom's new house. This is a lot that happened when I was 12 years old. So, at this one point, I was coming, I was going to go back upstairs. I just came out of the den, and the solid apparition of a little girl said the creepiest fucking shit. You want to play with me? She runs up the stairs. I was frozen. I was like... I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god. I was like, holy shit. It's like, what the fuck was that? I was like, that's a fuck no. Hey, that, that is not okay. That's not right, man. That's not okay. That was not right. And another time when I was sleeping, these long spidery fingers, like, 
about this long, stretched out with these claws. It was reaching over me on my wall to touch me. I was fucking freaking out. Oh my god. Fucking scary as shit. Mmm. That's, that's not right. Oh, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on, I got another message to reply, so sorry about pausing so much. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me think. Other events were really, you know, pretty much really deep in my memory here. Other events happened. Let's see. Oh, this is really trippy. So, when I was 13, after my stepfather died, he came to a dream he came to me in a dream and he was talking to me briefly and I think if I remember right my mom was sitting next to him gets up sprouts angel wings and flies up into heaven pretty much and then I was starting to rise up so I was like the fuck? so I did see my stepfather as an angel that was really really weird Oof, I've been some, too, so many funerals oh man Oh, fuck. Okay, so... What else can I think of? I just kind of remember. I'm really trying to remember my best year. I'm trying to cover as much as I can. Huh. What else did I experience? Hmm. Hmm. Like... Hmm. 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 I'm trying to think. I'm trying to leave this off because I'm almost about to finish the video, so I'm trying to leave off at a good point so I can go into part two because I'm trying to remember as much as I can, and I just do not... I just am brain farting, so <laughs> bear with me here. Um, let's see. Where shall I start next here to leave off? Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to think. You know what? I'll leave this as part one because I can't think of any more to say right now. I can't think of any more to tell. So, this has been My Life So Far, Paranormal Experiences, part one. I shall see you guys later.